Number 58. What volume of a 1.00 molar solution of FeNO33, so iron 3 nitrate, a solution can be diluted to prepare a 1.00 liter solution, right, liters of solution with a concentration of 0.250 molarity. Okay, so I see a couple of things here, right? The first thing that I spot out is that they use the word diluted, all right? So this is basically going to be a dilution problem in which we have one solution, right? And we have to add a volume to it in order to make or prepare a total of one liters with our known concentration. You are always going to be making the concentration or the molarity with the less, the, the lower number. So when you dilute something, you always bring the higher number down to the lower number, okay? So you can never dilute and turn your concentration higher. You're always diluting or bringing it lower. Okay, so now, can I use the same formula that we've been using over and over and over again? No, right? They gave us two molarities, right? And basically two volumes. I have one liter here and they're asking for what is the volume? So this is a special dilution formula, which is this guy right here. So this is the other molarity formula that you guys have to memorize. It's just a simple M1V1 equals M2V2. Your one set of molarity go together on the left side and your other set of molarity and the volume go on the other side. So ones represent a pair of molarity with the corresponding volumes and the twos represent another pair of molarity with the corresponding volumes. Now we just have to make sure that we match up the pairs. Now let's see. It says what volume of A? one molarity solution. Whenever you see the word, or whenever you see the words of A, and then they have a volume with the molarity, these are a pair. So here's pair number one. And now the other one's gotta be a pair as well, right? You're preparing one liter, oh, and here's the words again, of A. So the molarity that's corresponding over here is with the one liter. So. Let's just say what our M1V1 and what our M2V2 is. Now, it doesn't matter what pair is on the left or the right side. It just matters that the pairs are together. So let's just say, let's go from left to right, okay? So let's see. What volume of a 1.00 molarity solution? So the molarity for this one would be 1.00, and maybe I'll just put capital M. And maybe I'll do this in red just to show you the pairs. 1.00 capital M. And then this has to be the corresponding volume to this number. That's what we're looking for. So I'm going to label it as X. This side is the other numbers. 1.00 liter of A solution with a concentration of 0.25. So this number is 0.250. And the corresponding volume is the 1.00 liters. And that's it. We just need to plug it into the formula and solve for x. So I have 1.00 times x equals 0.250 times 1.00. You can keep the units in here, but I just take them out because I know that I'm solving for a volume. Okay, and simplify, I mean, all we have to do is just divide by 1.00, but anything divided by one is the same number, right? So we have this cancels and look, 1.00 on the bottom, on the top, 1.00 on the bottom, that cancels. So X is 0 0.250 and now units, it's the volume unit, right? So it matches the volume unit that you gave. So since this is in liters, this has to be in liters. And that's the answer. What volume would you need of the 1.0 solution? You'd only need 0.25 of a liter or 250 mils if you wanted to do the uh, conversion. That's it, guys. Just know this formula. Very, very simple formula. The hardest thing is to just know your pairs. But once you know what pairs are going together, it's just a plug and chug. All right, so just plug it into the formula and solve. That's it.
I hope this helped. Let me know in the comments what you thought. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you want. Um, and I'll see you guys all in the next video. I hope you guys are doing well. Keep studying hard. Bye-bye.